Hello everyone. In today's lecture, I'll talk about William Shakespeare's comedy As You Like It. As You Like It was written in 1598 and it was performed in 1601. Now the main outline of the story, Shakespeare borrowed the plot. The main outline of the story was actually based on Thomas Lord's play Rosalind If you look at the character list Duke Senior is a banished duke and he lives in the forest of Arden with his courtiers Duke Frederick is his brother Oliver Jackson Orlando now Orlando is the protagonist and they are sons of Sir Roland D Boys Rosalind is the female protagonist she is the daughter of duke senior and celia is the daughter of duke frederick touchstone is a clown corin and silvius now they both are actually shepherds who uh, live in the forest of arden phoebe is a shepherdess amians and jacks they both are lords who attend to the duke senior now in this lecture i'll only talk about act first so this act first scene first is set in the orchard of oliver's house and in this scene we are introduced to the protagonist orlando he complains to the servant adam now adam is the servant he is the family servant and he is in the family for long for a long time and orlando complains to adam that uh, his elder brother oliver never treats him well he had never provided him good education even his elder brother treats horses better than his brother so he complains to the family servant and meanwhile oliver enters and both the brothers they both uh, quarrel over this pity over this issue and orlando threatens to uh, orlando threatens his brother to either provide him better education or to simply give him money so that he could be so that he could go and live apart from his brother um uh, uh, in this act we are all in the scene we are also introduced about uh, we are now the charles is the wrestler he comes in the scene and uh, actually he comes to uh, to oliver and uh, he urges to oliver to persuade his younger brother not to enter into a match now he is a wrestler he fights and he is a mighty winner and he says that i don't want to fight with your younger brother he is so young and i don't want to break his ribs so he simply says that please make him understand so that he won't enter the match but because the elder brother oliver was already envious of his uh, younger brother so he makes a plan so he tries to persuade to charles that my brother is not that innocent he is envious and he never uh, he is never happy with other people's qualities so he says that it would be better if you'll fight him in scene second is set in the lawn before the duke's palace and in this scene uh, the female lead rosalind and celia they both are introduced now rosalind is the daughter of duke senior who is already banished from the court by his younger brother and celia is the daughter of the present duke duke frederick so in this scene we come to know about their love their bonding both the sisters are close to each other and they share a special bond with each other 
Celia is very much concerned about her sister because her father was already banished and she tries very hard so that Rosalind must be happy in all these circumstances. So, uh, Celia and Rosalind, they both talk and a courtier enters and tells both the ladies about the ongoing wrestling match. So, in this scene, the wrestling match is organized and he also, the courtier, he also tells that how the how Charles, the wrestler, has already defeated three young lads. Duke Frederick also enters with his lords and he persuades to both the ladies. He says that you must go and persuade the young Orlando not to enter the match. So everyone here persuades young Orlando because he was young and everyone was compassionate about him. So they all in a way try to persuade him so that he won't, so that he won't enter the match. But Orlando never listens. He says that I must try first. Let me try only after that. Because if even if I will lose, I will not have anything. So he says that I want to try. Orlando says that he must try this match. Uh, quite to everyone's surprise, Orlando wins the match. But when he discloses his identity that he is actually son of the great Sir Roland D. Boys. So when Duke Frederick hears this, he becomes angry because Sir Roland D. Boys was a dear friend to his elder brother Duke Senior. And Duke Frederick immediately commands him to flee from the court. But the behavior of Duke Frederick is actually not praised by everyone. And Rosalind and Celia, they both go and praise Orlando for his efforts. And Rosalind even offers her gold chain to the winner, Orlando. And it is in this stage, it is at this level that Rosalind and Orlando, they both fall in love with each other. And they are not even able to express their gratitude. They are not even able to express their love for each other. Scene third is set in a room in a Duke Frederick's palace. And we see that Rosalind is already talking about Orlando. And Celia is in a way teasing her sister. We come to know that Rosalind is in deep love with Orlando. And in this scene, Duke Frederick comes and he says that he instructs Rosalind to flee the court, to leave the court as soon as possible. And when Rosalind asks the reason, Duke simply states that it is enough that you are your father's child. Rosalind, of course, says... Um, she of course says that she is not guilty she is loyal and she has not even planned anything against Duke and his court so she says that she is innocent but of course Duke Frederick never listens to her and he simply states he simply says that uh, you have to flee from me you have to flee the court both the sisters so because decision was decision was already taken so both the sisters decide to flee the court as soon as possible and because they both were young girls they both were beautiful so rosalind is disguised they both decide rosalind is disguised as a man and she adopts the name ganymede and celia takes the name Aliena and they both decide to go to the forest of Arden and they also decide to take the clown touchstone with them. That's all for today. Thank you.